Good morning, road trippers. Uh, welcome to another early morning edition. I'm currently stopped at a small, like, Circle K store, I think is what it is. And I'm on my way to Tampa yet again. Uh, the road trippers out is getting dropped off for its 75,000 mile service. And, uh, stop, see some family, you know, do my typical runs here, try to take care of some business. Also, I'm going to be shooting a little bit of video at uh, Motorsports by Reeves. Uh, they've been kind enough to allow me to come in and uh, shoot the shop and, you know, see what they have, see what they do, and uh, hopefully be able to bring you that a little bit later. Uh, so stay tuned. Hope everybody, everything was going pretty good until we hit up right around Plant City, and I'm now in a traffic jam at 7.15 in the morning. Yeah. Should have thought this through just a little bit more. Probably should have left an extra 15 minutes. And considering I just passed a semi-tractor trailer that had two of its rear tires completely exploded. Uh, yeah, there's probably something not good ahead of me. So, let's see what happens. Well, everybody, we made it. Finally. Audi of Tampa. Our destination. So let's get this uh, little monster dropped off uh, so we can get serviced and let's see what they give us for a loaner. It's always fun to see what they have and what they give you. I've had an A4, an A3, and an A6, so this should be pretty interesting. Hey everybody, just uh, got finished here at Audi of Tampa. We're getting ready to take off right now. They uh, actually tossed me the keys to another 2016 A3. Uh, it's actually pretty nice inside. Uh, I'll do a full walk around here in a little bit with the car, but uh, yeah, not a bad, not a bad place to be right now. So, uh, right now I'm actually going to uh, take care of a couple of things and then head off. And uh, next shot should be at Reeves Motorsports. Oh, looks like we made it. Well, I found it. I actually had to drive around for a couple of minutes to find it. Didn't realize it was actually behind everything. But uh, as soon as I pulled up, I saw this. <laughs> The Audi S8 Plus in silver. I really, really, really like this car. I mean, this thing is just unbelievably badass. It's 605 horsepower out of this car. Do not give it to my father. Post some pictures up here in a little bit. All right, everybody, we're here at uh, MBR. I'm going to take you inside. We're going to show you around a little bit and just check out some of the cars. They have. They actually only have two in right now, but uh, they're actually a pair of ni nice cars. One's an Audi R8. The other one's a nice uh, uh, Fleetwood, if I remember correctly. So uh, let's go take a look. Actually, I think that's Eli back over there. Hi, Eli. Say hi. Hey. a uh, small selection of the rims. I mean, they have garage garage stuff everywhere. I mean, I only know a couple places in Orlando that actually sell garage garage, and it's nowhere near the amount these guys have. I'll show you the uh, the main wall here in a minute, but I'm uh, just going to show you around the shop a little. More rims. Uh, this is actually an APR intake system, and I believe one of the APR downpipes. I'm not sure which model. Set of rims. It's like an upgrade for a Range Rover of some sort. BMW. This is back in here. Can't go too far back here. Uh, they got a little chill out and waiting area. Xbox. Uh, 
Airport. I said Fleetwood earlier. This is not a Fleetwood. I do apologize. It's actually a Fleet Side from Chevrolet. I'm going to try and see if I can get a couple of shots, you know, a little bit closer up with the paint. But very, very nice. Nice set of American racing rims. Let's see if we can get a shot inside real quick. It's got a really nice leather interior. Let's see if we can get a nice shot of the paint. And the paintwork is flawless. There's not a swirl mark in it. Hi. I mean, just a absolutely gorgeous truck. More garage, garage stuff. Uh, they sell model cars, uh, full date tailing gear if you want to have some for your house. Their standard six-inch random orbital is actually really, really good for doing a, like really detailed work. They actually make a three-inch as well. It's even sharper. Um, but the big one you want is this Bosch unit. I mean, this thing's got a long throw to it. Runs real nice and not terribly heavy. If I ever get a girlfriend again, maybe I'll buy her that bag. But actually, I really like the Porsche one. Actually, that is a really nice Porsche one. Couple of different sets of rooms. I'm not sure what that set is, but that's a set of HREs. Uh, we also have Rotiform, some more HRE, Rotiform. The lower one actually looks really, really good on a Volkswagen Golf R. Uh, I've actually seen that on another car that they've actually done. Uh, I was at the show, I did not get pictures of it, unfortunately. Maserati motor sitting right there on the stand. Looks like it's almost ready to go for the car. More HRE rims. Move attack. More HRE. Then there's the R8. Unfortunately, this is a customer car, and uh, I was unable to get any type of photos or shots in it, but the interior is actually pretty nice. A little better shot of them on the wall, uh, all the stuff on the wall. All kinds of uh, Porsche shirts, Audi. Tell me what you think online, everybody, of the ADV1 rims. I was actually, these are actually really nice and would probably look good on the A5. So just let me know in the comments. It's a lot of, I mean, think about, think about driving an hour and a half. And, Yeah, okay. BMW Isetta. I believe this one's 1958. The funniest thing is, is this is one of only two I've ever seen, and I know a couple other places that have you know brought them out and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the literally the second one I've ever seen actually in person. Yeah, 1958 BMW Isetta. Some of the specs for the car. Nope, you can't have it. <laughs> okay. 
just to give you an idea on how much garage garage stuff they have. Yeah, I'm just going to pan all the way around. I'm actually having to back up so I can get everything. Literally the biggest selection of garage, garage stuff that, I mean, period. Probably in one place. I mean, this is the most I've ever seen. Anything I've seen has always been like, you know, the wash, the wheel cleaner, some of the spray and waxes. But I've never seen this much. I mean, speed shine I haven't seen in a store. Drying towels, applicators, wheel brushes. Oh, there's that lug nut cleaning brush that I actually wanted. Oh. Okay. Yeah, may have to uh, come back here and uh, pick up some stuff for the car. <laughs> I mean, literally just tons of stuff. I actually had a friend of mine ask me about what's the difference between the polish and the sealant. The polish makes the glass super mark free, you know, nice and flat, and the sealant seals it up similar to what like a Rain-X would, but a little more effective. Uh, how much is this one? It's not too bad. $8.99. It's about the same what you would pay for Rain-X. The clay is basically just, you know, it's similar to paint clay. Uh, you just run it on the window and it pulls off all the bugs and tar and crap. Even more stuff. to sell radar detectors. Honestly, I really should get one. They actually have the Escort Max, which I've only seen, again, one of. And here it's $649. So, if anybody wants the Escort Max um, radar detector, come by uh, Motorsports by Reeves. They got it here in stock, as you just saw. I kind of like those bosses. And uh, if you give me a couple of seconds here, I think the next shots we're going to get are going to be in that. Well, we were going to try and get a shot, or a few shots, in the uh, S8 here. And uh, unfortunately, the car has been sold, so it officially is somebody else's. So we couldn't get any shots in it. Um, I would like to thank Eli over here at Motorsports by Reeves helping us out, you know, letting us get some video and everything inside the showroom, showing some of the stuff they have, and uh, hopefully we'll see everybody on the next way around. I'm actually on my way now to pick up the Road Trippers Audi, so see you soon.